First up, despite warnings from its allies, the Israeli troops have pressed further into the eastern region of Rafah city. Israel says that it is in pursuit of what it claims are the four Hamas battalions in the region. The Israel Defense Forces released a video showing what they call Hamas's training compound as Israeli tanks pushed deeper into Rafah and injured Palestinians in Gaza said the closure of the Rafah crossing between Egypt and the Strip is preventing them from traveling abroad to receive treatment they desperately need. He has the right to treatment. He has the right for medical care. We hope that you will be able to open the Rafah border crossing for the humanitarian cases so that they can receive treatment and be provided with medication so the boy can once again see with his eyes. He lost his sight due to the hit which took place and the shelling that he was subjected to. We hope that the official sides, international organizations and all the country that sees us to feel compassion towards our case and look at the children. What have the children done to deserve this? Meanwhile, Egypt and Israel are trading blame over the aid being blocked at Rafah. Israel has said that the decision to reopen Rafah crossing and allow humanitarian relief into Gaza Strip is in Egypt's hands. This has prompted Cairo to denounce what it described as desperate attempts to shift blame for the blockage of the aid. Cairo has been one of the mediators in the stalled ceasefire talks between Israel and Hamas. However, Cairo's relationship with Israel is strained, especially since the Israeli advance into Rafah. Cairo, along with Qatari mediators, have signaled that true talks have hit a stalemate. The Qatari Prime Minister, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani, has also said the situation in Rafah has sent hostage talks back to square one. In fact, after the recent developments over the Rafah crossing, Egypt has even threatened to back out from its mediator role. U.S. believes that 58 trucks have been able to enter Rafah, a number Washington believes is not enough for starving Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. The U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan will visit West Asia to take note of the situation. As it relates to aid that has been flowing this week, we've seen 50 trucks enter uh, Gaza on May 12th. Uh, this is uh, not nearly enough. More needs to be uh, done, and it's another example of why uh, the Rafa uh, border crossing needs to be open so we can see further sustained uh, humanitarian aid flow into Gaza. Recent pressure by the Biden administration on Israel not to go through with the Rafah offensive. The United States has moved a $1 billion package for weapons aid for Israel into the congressional review process. The latest weapons package includes tank rounds, mortars and armored tactical vehicles. This development comes after the Biden administration paused the shipment of powerful bombs to Israel over concerns they might be used for a major invasion of Rafah. The rift between the U.S. and Israel has also taken a hit. In the latest, Israeli army has released a video showing armed men standing next to the U.N. marked vehicles at its compound in the southern city of Rafah. Uh, Israel has demanded an explanation from the U.N. for this particular video. And for the very latest on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from Israel. An Egyptian official has said that Egypt won't allow aid through the Rafah crossing between Egypt and Gaza as long as the Israel Defense Forces are there. Israel has said that Hamas can't control the crossing and has reportedly offered the Palestinian Authority to get involved, but the PA refused. On aid, five crossings between Israel and Gaza are currently open. And regarding the Rafah crossing, Israeli Foreign Minister Katz suggested that the key to preventing a humanitarian crisis is now in Egypt's hands. Meanwhile, President Biden appears to be sending mixed messages, on the one hand saying he would veto a bill that would unfreeze an arms transfer to Israel, on the other hand seeking to send a further $1 billion in arms to Israel. While Biden is known as a longtime Zionist who's compared Hamas to ISIS, it's thought that Biden is also trying to appeal to the far left, with the U.S. elections coming up. This is Jody Cohen for We On World Is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.